yeah, worthless. Now, this, the first crypto would possibly kill 28 trillion worth of. I'm not going to buy it back yet. Uh, 50, I mean, I well, okay, we're, okay, yeah, that, that, that's, that's the first yeah. point we should go into, actually. Uh, you know, in that. That's an exponential, you know, business could find a way around this. You know, it's like, you know, there's, uh, that, that's too much of a, a, a grandstanding. Well, and I, I want to go into it, but hang on, let me put a new cut thing in here. Um, uh, okay. We, this is being done in two parts. You can watch whichever one you want first. Uh, in, the, uh, in the other hour, we uh, went in detail. We, we kind of both read through the law to familiarize ourselves with what this thing actually does because on both sides, as Marcel pointed out, uh, there's rhetoric. You know, on the, you know, SOPA, uh, SOPA is bad. Uh, there's the, it's going to kill the internet, it's going to break the internet, we're going to become China, nothing's going to solve, it's going to kill the economy, everybody's going to lose their jobs. On the other side, there's, well, what do you want, piracy? That's costing us billions. We have to stop piracy. This is about stopping piracy. And the reality is both sides are doing a little bit of grandstanding rhetoric here. Um, as what Marcel was getting into here, it's like one thing is... Uh, that the internet represents 15% plus of the gross domestic product and, you know, it's two to eight trillion dollars plus of the economy and so on. The implication there is that if you in any way, shape, or form screw with the internet, all of this money yeah. is going to disappear. That's that not a... That's zero sum for me. Yeah, that, that's... But I mean, yeah, I, I definitely think that the revenue will hurt. I mean, but, you know, that's, that's too much grand yeah, yeah, no. You're taking a, a, the absolute numbers of making zero sum games. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I will agree with you. That is a little bit of rhetoric. I think there will be damages and collateral damage if this bill becomes law. Do I think it will zero it out and all that money will just stop being part of the economy? No. I do think it will hurt the little guy some, and I and I and I and I do agree with the next point about it. Yeah, but it'll prevent startups. I'm sure. I. I, I, mean, I, I, I well, no, because let's, let's be frank. I mean, it's a certain percent of startups, not all. Of them. Well, no, and, and, and really, that that is that that's the crux at the thing. There's people who go, well, it, you must have no regulation, or you kill all startups, or we must have regulation to protect you. The reality yeah, is, so yeah, yeah. The reality is, it, you've changed the rules of the playing field, and it's a new obstacle for businesses to deal with. It it makes it harder. It makes it more difficult which will mean a higher percentage of failure. It doesn't mean a 100% failure. Just so you know, I, you're staring I down. That's inherent to the point above. Yeah, um, j j just so you know, you're staring down so I can only see your forehead. Oh, right. <laughs> I was just letting you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that expression of ideas, certainly, certainly. Well, and, and we should qualify that. It's not that you aren't going to be able to post stuff, but because what this law does is basically flip the way we handle copyright infringements upside down on their head. Yeah, the like whole if, you're, if, if, if you're a YouTube partner and you use something infringing by that law, that means your title channel goes down, all advertisers must be shut down, all links to... Anything you ever did must, must go away. away. I mean, it's insane. Yeah, it could really, it could really be crushing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, and, and honestly, the way you express an idea best is by, like like I was saying in the other part, is through parodies and equating it to the average person. And, so, yeah, and I'm you sorry, you do that using what's... You do that using what's socially relevant today. I mean, there's a reason Family Guy did Star Wars parodies. And it's like, cause like it, it's a gag, and it made, it made the joke make more sense. People doing any message, political, trying to express it, they do that, even if there's no direct infringement. Anyways. Yes, it could. I mean, even the fourth one, it could. You could. T I, I believe that the company could be completely crushed under the weight of it. I mean, even for uh, one infraction. Yeah, well, you're, you're talking about the, the this this would this would be yeah. copyright abuse on steroids. It, yeah. it, 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 it has to remove advertisements and the affiliation. I mean, all kinds of stuff. I mean, your your entire DNS and what it means. If you're an internet business, you're done. I mean, because it would shut down. Yeah, it would be extremely painful. Um, so I'll accept that. Or remove checks and balances of the courts. That I don't. I don't accept. Uh, there, there, that's a debatable I point. Any, I didn't read anything in there that did not did not breach due process. 
As okay. a matter of fact, it went into great detail of all the warnings that had to be given. It has, it has a due process. The reason I put that in there is because part of it flipping it on its head, why it has a new due process, by flipping the whole thing on its head like it's trying to do, you have now made it where there is no longer any presumption of innocence. The presumption, the burden is on you as the website to prove you didn't infringe, to jump through all this rigmarole at your cost, and you can't recoup your damages like you can right now through the courts. If you're attacked frivolously right now, if you ultimately win, you are allowed to recoup the cost of defending yourself. Under this law, as we got into that, under many circumstances, even though there's a form of due process, you can't recoup the cost of defending yourself. And that is one of the things that's very important to our checks and balance of the courts, that the aggrieving party, the party that's wrong, ultimately bears the cost of the whole exercise. Under this law, it specifically slants that towards protection for the copyright holders, whether they prove their case or yeah, not. but see, the thing of it is, is, look, it was very specific in the law about getting a court order and having to go with what the court decides. And there's nothing in there that's, that's um, making anything that I saw other than changing um, some of some of the, the time limits to, to do what you need to do to, to um, resolve the infraction. But um, it's still going to the court's law. And you know what? I misused... I, 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 I meant to say due process in the beginning of the video. One, I think I said habeas corpus. I don't know why I said Those that. are very different things. I didn't call yeah, you. Yeah, I, I don't know why I said that, but I meant to say due process. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. This will make U.S. executive like China. I, I disagree with that. China censored for the basis. You, you, of you. Uh, okay. The, the letter of it doesn't say that. But given some of the clauses you're reading into, the part dealing with copyright can be abused, and the part having to deal with the part having to deal with danger and so the stuff that has nothing to do with copyright to say with no, no, for the good of the public. You don't see that as a as a seed of that could very easily be interpreted uh -huh. to be abused. No, because the scope of the law is nowhere near as grandiose as what China can do, and for the reasons that China does it. But it, we can certainly call it Turkey. I won't agree that it's, like it's China. China, the, you don't under, you understand the scale of censorship that is China. That that law right there has no. Uh, okay, it, it may be on a different scale, but it's still U.S. censorship. Oh yeah, I it, it's government-directed censorship. That I means that that means. This right here in front of me says this will make U.S. exactly like China. No, it won't make it U.S. like it. Oh, okay, okay. The, the qualifier there is in terms of, okay, I, I, I need to explain that statement. What I'm getting at there is that will make the, that will make the United States' policy on Internet being that the government needs to have a say in censoring it. It needs to regulate it and decide what of it should be accessible. No, that's, you know, it's, it's basically a complainer has to arise. That's with the copyright that. stuff. What about the clauses that have to do with the danger and the shun? Um, th that danger stuff has nothing to do with the internet. That all that, like those sections about body harm and services and goods have nothing to do with, with the internet. China is literally the government shutting you down for whatever the hell reason. This law, I mean, Miles Draconian, is saying a complainer must arise, prove the evidence within the court of law. And once it's proven. The Attorney General has the authority to then do this, X, Y, and Z, and do it. So uh, I, 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 I'm not sure the the burden for proof is actually high enough. And no, really, no, and well, no, okay. In the case of a social site like YouTube, I mean, the the, the, the action to be taken is like you were saying they take the YouTube, but the action to be taken is to take the domain out. I mean, Facebook would go offline. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, though. But we're, you're missing what I'm arguing. China is, the government just says, go away. And you go away. There's no due process. There's nothing. It's just, you, you go. For, in this law, it's clearly you have to have the complainer initiated. By, we can debate whether it's sufficient or not. What I'm just, but I'm, all I'm saying is that, okay. Uh, okay, okay. I will concede the point it's not as bad as China. 
but it's not it's not it, it, it's not exactly unrelated either <laughs> it's uh, it's not this is, it's business giants I don't even want to say business giants it's, it's, this is because some of them are also small that want to take part in this um, this is really just business trying to make it easier but for those of you who are wondering what he's talking about I made a comment in here about basically if this goes into law it it, it it props up the currently dying thing of you have to go through a gatekeeper or studio or label or something to get your to get your ideas and stuff out there. Because uh, one of the things that has happened is uh, really if you decide you want to make a movie, all you really have to do is go buy a video camera and get some people to act in it. Same thing with if you want to make a song, you know, go buy a computer that can do recording stuff, build a build something good enough to get good enough audio and you know do it you, you you don't need to go through the gatekeepers anymore to do this industry uh, and this I agree with mother I, I agree with the rest of your DNS and can I get an hosting uh, apology there okay, I can I, yeah, I can uh, I can uh, um, but let's take this in the context of uh, I gotta be the devil's advocate <laughs> usually I'm the devil's advocate this time you are <laughs> um if someone were to steal a car, right? Okay, I'm trying. We're tr I'm trying to put this in the context. Okay, a company. Let's say if there's an organized criminal ring that steals cars. In, in other words, if you have like the gone in sixty seconds goons. Oh my God! We just made a violation. We're gonna get taken away. <laughs> I'm trying to say, I'm trying, hold on, I'm trying to make it up. because the people that that say the pirates. Were True, you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't steal X, Y, and Z things and all this other stuff. It's just, I, I definitely agree with the people that that want to stop piracy. That there isn't a mentality that the internet is like this free for all, uh, living in the cloud. And, 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 and you know what? Initially, I had a great deal of sympathy for the stop piracy because it really is difficult. But when they started using the laws they already have to do things like remove a baby's first steps and remove things that are obviously just joke parodies that just are, are basically relating something to something else without doing direct infringement. You know, they're a parody. When, when, when Hey Ya Charlie Brown started getting yanked, when baby's first steps because mommy grabbed the video camera instead of turning off the radio, when... Um, uh, people, you know, making fun of shows they were a fan of, when people making fun of shows they didn't like, and making fun of why they didn't like yeah, them. They, when when, when they, all of they, that they, stuff they started they getting yanked... Well, it's not your fault if you're trying to capture a moment, and it so happens that a damn song on the radio is playing. Sorry, Mr. Radio Station and Warner Brothers, whoever the hell you are, you're not going to be able to go there and say, oh, we need to... Oh, oh no. You, you know what my favorite one was, aside from these? The fact that some ranch got sued because they were playing the radio for horses. <laughs> I'm not kidding. The horses counted as listeners. So they all... Wait a minute. I want to go back to the now. We still have a car. They got... All right. So please seize the garage. They take the assets. Of course, it's stolen property, so they got to return the property. Okay, that would happen. But, what happens to the landowner? The landowner doesn't get penalized. I mean, if the guy was leasing, if the landowner is leasing the garage to them... Uh, actually, that depends. There are some counties, and I don't agree with this either, that have started implementing laws where if certain criminal acts like drugs or theft in a certain range, the property owner loses the property. Like, like there's clauses in a lot of leases in those areas. Where, where, okay. Where, yeah, I don't agree with that. Where, like, if they if if they lease the apartment to somebody who does something, yeah, but they prove that they were in cahoots. No, they don't have to prove that they were in cahoots. The fact that the property was involved at all, they take it. But is that for just acquiring evidence and then would it be no, back? no, it, it, it's 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 to send a message. No, then I don't agree. With I, no, I don't agree with that either. And this is trying to bring that to the... We're trying to get those laws overturned. This is trying to bring that to the Internet. Nate was like, well, the garage is the Internet, you know, and search engines, and we shouldn't penalize them or make them do something. 
you know, we just go after the 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 uh, uh, infraction, you know. Uh, but if you're saying other counties do that, then I guess that's a good analogy to use. And unfortunately, there are some places that do that. It's sad, um, but. Uh, yeah, the, but I mean, like, like getting into the DNS thing for a second. Uh, so, so could, they, yeah, you know, wait, 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 wait. We could argue. I'm trying to just reason this in my head. We could argue. So the internet is too interdependent. Very. It's in a garage. Uh, the, you know, a better a better analogy would be a motel room is being used to grow meth. And of course, or, 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 grow, or grow marijuana. You know, they have lights on, so they're using the city's electricity. So, because the city's electricity was used to do an illicit act, yeah. we're going to seize the power grid. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> like we haven't gotten there yet, and that is kind of what this is implying. <laughs> like we're gonna we're gonna take the power grid because <laughs> the power grid is no problems with the punishment. Do you think they want to do that well? I think they need to put things in like you're you're talking about. If they're going to do something like this, um, all they need to do, I would grant them if they if you can prove, all right, this they just need to take the domain name off. And you don't need to go to Google and say stop the advertising on it because even if where's the advertisement going to go? It's a dead link. So who gives a shit? You don't need to make Google do all that other stuff. Um, well, that has to do with something about the DNS thing, and I'll tell you why they put that in. At the end of the day, DNS blocking and redirecting like this, why it, it, it will do everything to hinder the average user and the expression and growth of the Internet, but it will do nothing to stop a pirate, because at the end of the day, you can just type the IP address in, okay, and that'll still work. And that is the thing that's the real point of... But the advertisements aren't based on that. I mean, the, those advertisements are already... Unless they reinitiate a new advertising campaign to a new site, but then that's a whole new... Infrac I mean, that, to me, then you have to start the process again. I mean, pretty much. I mean, that, yeah, yeah. No, it like basically, it, it doesn't... It, it, it won't actually stop the money flow. The DNS thing won't do anything to stop piracy. And the thing that has me really concerned about the DNS thing is the point several people have brought up. We have spent the last... Let's see what happens. Because that was one Russian... Or, or I don't know if it was Russian, but... Uh, a site that I knew of. Uh, I don't know if it was Russian. But ZML.com. Yeah, watch. Go there. And watch what happens. ZML. Yep. Watch what happens. Yeah, that's what they're talking about. Now, let me. Shut this shit out. Three. 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 Okay, now, Marcel, I have something for you to try typing in. Oh, wow, 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 wow. The domain has been seized by U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement pursuant to seizure warrant issued by United States District Court on authority of Title 18. And bam! We're going to use the Internet! 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 We're going to use the I know. Oh no, dude, this just happened. This is this is <laughs> Well, you honestly think the government's going to use their own bandwidth when they can use Google's? <laughs> but no, what? Getting back to the DNS thing for a minute. A, you could still get you 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 can still get to that site by typing its IP address. Um, but the thing that has me really concerned. Like 
I'm losing a job. Making is so literal. I mean, it's just really yeah. the consequence of all this stuff. You are? Yeah. Why? Because you have no soul? You can make it even if you're not. That's right. Real. I'm going to just say that. Three. what's wrong with everything? What's more important? The moon being? The receiving being? Not, not okay. 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 There you go. Well, when you turn it off the screen, throw off the internet, digital piracy and product counterfeiting is not based on what's right. The financial repercussions are huge. Show the world that piracy doesn't work. Do it. And it says it's updated, too. So we have an updated link. Let's see what this one is. Oh, here's the same video that they updated. Let's see what they do. It's the same freaking video. Oh, I'm sure they've tweaked it a little or something. Yeah, I mean, you got some great cover on it, too. Those DVDs look great. You are? Yeah. Why? I'd be like, yeah, I have no soul. Okay. A anyways. <laughs> this guy takes time. This is totally state. Yeah. And you and I have both just been labeled pirates, by the way. <laughs> we went there as an example for this video. We, we, You know what? If that strike policy was in effect, you and I have, would have each gotten an internet strike. <laughs> What's the internet strike? Oh, you haven't heard about this? There, there's ISPs are implementing an internet strike policy where if you get X strikes, they're going to cut your internet off. That's amazing, dude. A anyways, onto the DNS. What, what a lot of people don't realize is there's actually holes in the DNS for hackers and cyber terrorists and uh, espionage, uh, uh, corporate espionage and stuff to take advantage of. We've spent the last few years as an industry uh, with basically creating a uh, something called DNS SEC, you know, DNS SEC. It's a security protocol standard for new DNS implementation. But one of the things at the root of it is absolutely knowing, you know, an ironclad list of this domain name with this IP. And basically, what it does is it verifies it against that list uh, to. to basically warn against fishers and espionage and hackers trying to get information they shouldn't or, or cyber terrorists or other things. Uh, and one thing they didn't pay attention to, and the engineers have stood up and said this, if you put this in and you put in this DNS redirecting like this as a policy, you're going to break this standard. And it was just a big waste. <laughs> uh, which I'm like, I, I, given the fact that DNS blocking doesn't work, uh, because, like I said, anybody who's really doing excessive illegal downloading, they have a general idea of how IPs work and so forth. And, the, and there's dozens of add-ons that have been added. Uh, you know, for hey, okay, I found an increase. In, the current fine is two million dollars. Oh yeah, I know. And ten years in prison. So they want to make it five million in twenty years. In prison. Yeah, they want to double it. Uh, the other thing is, I mean, basically it's going to mean people downloading things to get around the thing, which, you know, there's already plugins that do that. But I agree, you know, those will, be, those will become riddled with malware and other things. Like, well, who cares? You know, it's the people doing illegal things. Uh, okay, if it starts block, if it starts blocking social sites, it's not just people doing illegal things. It's people wanting to express themselves, too. Oh. You know what, perhaps in, a, in addressing this, we need to maybe rewrite copyright law, right? I happen to agree with that. Copyright law is not equipped to properly handle the digital maybe age. It's too easy. We need to start redeclaring and defining and increasing the scope of fair use. Well, and, and the other thing is, I mean, like is like I gave up the example with the horses. 
you know, I'm sorry. You, you, you know, they, basically they wanted him to get a radio redistribution license to play the radio to the horses. And I'm sorry. I do not consider somebody playing to their horses or a restaurant turning on the radio to, you know, just have background noise for their patrons. Turning on a local radio station that's broadcast. All of their patrons could bring a radio and listen to it. They're just choosing to do it for them. I don't consider that somebody who needs a rebroadcast license. I consider that somebody who's just typing, tapping into their local radio station and playing it. They just happen to have 20 or 30 friends over in their restaurant. I don't think that's an infringement. Under current law, it is. The restaurant has to buy a rebroadcast license. <laughs> when, that, when that site redirected it, did it make the YouTube video full screen? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I immediately closed it, because I wanted to get back to the thing. But yeah, this is... <laughs> oh my god, dude, this is crazy. Hey, look, you know what that tells me? We don't need that law. It's already working quite well. I, I know! <laughs> I know <they> need it. <laughs> oh. Uh, now, now, the, now the, 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 I'm, I'm done playing devil's advocate because I mean it's getting. Oh no! Uh, now on this other one, I do want to go into before we get into what it won't do. Uh, uh, this is one everybody should really be concerned about because you and I are both big fans of as much competition as possible. Uh, and at the end of the day, uh, like you said, this is a regulatory cost. The burden of proof is put on the burden to make sure it doesn't happen is kind of put on the companies. This, in my opinion, would kill small internet hosting because they wouldn't have the resources to necessarily stand like a pitch on top of all of the people whose sites they host. And they would indirectly be required to, uh, which would mean ultimately we'd get narrowed down to like we are with the phone companies, four or five you know, basically you have to go through these few companies. It's not a monopoly, but it would be these are the big ones that can afford to do this, and this is who you have to deal with. And every time you get that, you know, you have an, a kind of a mutual agreement of, well, this is the price. Because they know, yeah, maybe one of us will have a sale without, you know, really giving enough advance notice for the others too. But other than that, this is the price. This is what it costs. This, and that, that, that's horrible for the consumer. And that we don't want to, we don't want the internet gateway like that. Uh, I mean, that, that would be horrible. Especially with the ISPs capping our home thing. So even though we might have the bandwidth to host our sites from home, the, our ISP isn't going to let us. <laughs> Uh, the next one is a little bit of an exaggeration. There are clauses in that thing that could be interpreted that way. I doubt they will be. You know, to bring back the kill the VCR, the yada yada. Okay, getting into what it won't do. Um, this is the Stop Online Piracy Act. Let me ask you an honest question, Marcel, since you're done playing devil's advocate now. <laughs> Do you think this bill, if it becomes law, will do anything whatsoever to stop online piracy? Mm, no, I don't think so. I don't think it, it can, it, you know, it's uh, uh, a, feeble, a feeble attempt at doing it. Uh, I, I mean, I think I, 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 they have good. It's like they say, it's there's good intentions to prevent theft, but it, it causes too much harm in the process. Of it, it causes harm, and it doesn't prevent the theft. You know, it's it, it just it just adds a a regulatory layer to the internet without actually doing the job that the law is intended to do. <laughs> Um, you know, and this brings up a perfect example of the very things that won't stop. It won't stop peer to peer. It will not stop BitTorrent or anything that's decentralized that's not going through the DNS thing or it's on uh, and it, it uh, that stuff's not really advertising sponsored. It's, it, it does nothing to stop that stuff. Ah, now uh, the the next one, and this is going in line with the China thing, and that's the thing. Some of the people who are against this are standing up and saying, "This will break the internet." 
it will break DNS, it will break the work to secure DNS that's been done, but it won't take, it's not like it'll take the internet offline if we enact this law. Oh my god, the internet will collapse! Yeah, it'll, 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 yeah, it was special view services that are all like interdependent with each other, uh, and exclusively, you know, in partnership, then yeah, you could rip your whole world to get run for a while. It could get, you know, honestly, if this becomes law, the, the immediate repercussions I see uh, within three years of this becoming law, everybody's internet bill goes up because the ISPs now have more bullshit to deal with. Uh, I would see within five years everybody's the cost of hosting a website going up because the internet the hosters have to deal with that. I would see startup companies needing more capital to make it through that fledgling stage of the first 18 months to five years of we're not big enough yet to really get enough revenue to sustain ourselves and now aside from what used to be our base cost we have our base cost plus dealing with the regulatory bullshit, plus dealing with the possibility of being offline for X months while we straighten out things uh, and having to restart our momentum again, which will make starting things a lot harder, but not impossible. But it won't... It, it, I, I guess you could call that breaking the internet, but we, it, would, it would be a different internet. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be... The internet's not there anymore. Um... One of the things that has me really concerned knowing that, like what we're getting into, the damage it would do and everything else, like one of the people for this, and I'm going to name one that was specifically named by the people against it. They named Paramount. And this is a verifiable fact, actually, that Paramount, who's in favor of this legislation, is wanting this legislation to go after, I believe they said, 20 websites. Okay. Given what you're saying, and I agree with it, they pretty much already have everything they need to go after those 20 sites. Yeah, obviously, look, I mean, we've got, didn't did we uh, not do an example, but the people could follow us, watch it redirect them to YouTube. Yeah, for those of you, for, for, again, that domain was Z is in Zebra, M is in Michael, L is in Lincoln.com. Go there and see the government's propaganda. <laughs> On I mean, YouTube, it's, 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 the government's already working. The laws are already working, obviously, right? Yeah, and and, and, and that is the million-dollar question: A, why do we need this law? B, why do we have to rush it through? Because the reality is, this law really is being fast-tracked, <laughs> big time. You think it'll pass, um, I say it's fifty-fifty right now. Really. I really would. And the reason I say that is the fact that the Congress is not wanting to hear anything from people in the opposition camp. They're kind of turning a blind eye to the fact that there's any opposition to this. Uh, it has the support of the White House, despite the fact that, as has been pointed out, the Vice President himself has stood up and said he's for an open Internet. Uh, but apparently the White House is behind this. Which is a bit of a mixed message there. Yeah, we don't shut down our highways and roads because they're also used by criminals. No. Yeah, yeah, th that's actually the best analogy. We, we use the electric company. This would be the analogy that if somebody speeds on the highway, we we cut off access to the highway to everybody. And I'm, it, that, that would shut the city down. It's like, that's not, that, that, that's not a good solution. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and um, the, honestly, uh, I, the reason I give it 50-50 is because this is the type of legislation that people like us in the IT industry pay attention to. I pay attention to legislation like this. Uh, I, hadn't, I, I wish I'd been reading it last weekend because I've kind of been ignoring this like everybody else because I didn't think it was a prayer's chance I could get this far, but it has. Um, it is interesting. Yeah, but uh, the reality is Joe Schmo Consumer does not pay attention to this stuff. They complain about it after the fact when it starts making their life more difficult. Um, I, I, I can think of a lot of people whose life this would make difficult. Um, it, actually, some of my clients, believe it or not, who um, get harassed by DMCA stuff all the time 
but it, you know it's just become part of the yada yada doing business. If this became law, they would be put out of business four times a year <laughs> uh, because they'd have to go through more hullabaloo and other stuff. So it, it, it it's interesting. I mean, we can sit here and talk about this for another thirty minutes, but we've already talked about it for an hour and a half because we talked about it for an hour before, and we're now on thirty minutes. Um, what, what, I mean, do you think? I'm giving it 50-50 because I... I don't know. I honestly don't know. I need to... I, I'm now going to... I'm now going to have to, like, do some research to see where the politician, you know, congressmen stand, if they've had press releases or anything, or the committees, because... That the, there is now formal opposition. You know, the the, the uh, Electronic Frontier uh, Foundation, the L ACLU, certain small business coalitions have stood up, have invited the press have made official that they saw it. Google, Yahoo, eBay, and I forget the other two companies, took out a full page ad in the New York Times. You know, <laughs> uh, basically to just go, what this will do to you, <laughs> uh, yada yada. So uh, an opposition has started, but this is already going through congressional hearings to, you know, do its final vetting. It's like in the final stages of becoming law. Basically, it may be too little too late because, you know, those of us in the tech industry are immediately taking notice, but the average consumer may still, in spite of all of this thing, be completely oblivious. And, you know, the reality is if most of the voters aren't paying attention, Congress can pass whatever the hell it wants. Um, and they won't really get flack for it because the shit won't start hitting the fan for 12 to 18 months. So it won't even necessarily cost anyone uh, being reelected next year. So it, it's I give it 50 50. Uh, what about you? you? You think it's. I don't have sufficient information to be honest with you. I'll research it tomorrow, you know, later today since it's already the next day. <laughs> uh, I'll re I'm going to find out. Um, I'm actually probably right. I'll probably call our local congressman's office. I'm, I'm very active. Okay, I call. Oh, oh yeah, no, I'm I'm already drafting letters and I have phones, <laughs> uh, phone calls to make. I, I I I'll do as much as I can to make the people who'll be ultimately voting on this realize you really don't want to do that. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I'm you know it it depends how many other people do that too. <laughs> All right, well, I think we concluded the show. Okay. That was pretty good. Uh, hopefully, for those of you who hate us getting political, you realize this is more technology. You know, this is the Internet we're talking about here. <laughs> <laughs> but but this, this should also make some of you understand why we've been getting a little political, because the reality is, especially given what's going on right now, these two worlds are becoming very intertangled, uh, more than they've really ever been historically. Peace out, everyone.